In a letter to Prime Minister James Marape, Head Bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of PNG, Reverend Dr. Jack Urame raised concerns pertaining to the Wafi Golpo mines proposed the deep sea tailings placement method. Reverend Dr. Urame said it is indeed telling that less than 20 of the world's 2,500 mines use the DSTP waste disposal method. Further, the London Protocol, the more recent treaty of the two primary international instruments dedicated to protecting the marine environment, expressly prohibits the dumping of all waste into the ocean, including mine tailings. Dr. Urame noted with concern that PNG is not yet a party to the London Protocol, along with reports that PNG is the only country in the world with the highest number of mines permitted to discharge mine waste into our pristine riverine and the sea. The head bishop outlined that studies by leading scientists, including one conducted at New Island's Lihir Gold Mine and Misima in Millen Bay Province, point to DSTP's significant negative impact on the marine ecosystem. He said, to be clear, PNG's coastal communities appreciate the economic and social benefits that come with large-scale commercial projects such as the Wafi Gulbu Mine. However, balancing environmental sustainability and the preservation of economic livelihoods remains the key priority for our people. Finally, as a Christian nation, the head bishop said we have a duty to care for and protect God's creation because right in the beginning, God called us to be responsible caretakers of his creation. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.